Hello there, only one Kenobi here. Only one. And this is one that won't be swinging on the pegs because it's original trilogy. This stuff always sells. This is the one that everybody wanted when it first came out. Welcome to the Quick Shot series, by the way. This is episode 120. I will leave a link in the description for the whole series. I do have two variants of the card. The one on your right there, or on the right, is the one that first came when we got them in the UK. Two of the six cards had a multi-language, and that was the First Order Stormtrooper and then this guy. But a single pill did exist. European card, I believe. Yeah, it's got the safety leaflet in there. <clears throat> Lots to say about this guy. It's a good figure, by the way. Really good. And I'd like to also take this opportunity to show you the variant I've done of him as well, which is a little bit of head swapping with the Royal Navy. The Royal Navy? No, the Imperial Navy Commander. Which I've got a separate video on that, which I you know, don't mind leaving a link to that one as well. Let me just get myself organised here. Firstly, the card back. There's a lot to say about the card. And I've said it before in countless videos, but I will say it again. That this is a really good thing because they have now rectified this image. I firmly believe that that photograph is... That's the way it should be. Back in the 80s... we got to go and get this guy to talk about it. Back in the 80s, he was... Because uh, they sometimes mirror the image of, on a card. And I firmly believe... Let me know if I'm wrong here. But I think I'm right. They reverse some images. Now that's the 80s card and that's the 80s figure. Look, look at it. And he's looking from right to left. Now if you remember in the film, the Battle of Hoth ain't going that way. The Battle of Hoth is going this way. From left to right. Now here's what I think they did. In the 80s you got that card back. Which is obviously of an external trooper. Inside the bubble there. He's got a beige top, which is very much like the uh, deck officers and the people inside the base. So what I think is for VC-68, when they brought back the vintage collection, and they've even put the original card and figure on the back here, they probably thought to themselves, hang on a minute, we want to get the guy in beige. And there he is. But then they thought, do you know what? We need to match the figure with the, co the correct card back. So they've actually given you this image or this card which never existed in the 80s probably found the image in the archives or maybe it was one they had it in mind in the 80s i don't know but anyway what they've done is they've matched a beige dude with a beige dude on the card and then that that's that then we fast forward to 2018 and then they took the original image again yank there it is and then they flipped it around correctly i believe so he's now looking from left to right and then they gave you a figure that's actually a repack, this figure, I believe. I think it's in some sort of battle pack or something. But that figure is correct. Look at him. He's wearing the white attire, you know, as they would in the snow for camouflage, obviously. It's a snow, pla sl a snow planet. And then that's the story, I believe. But then here's the other final twist that wanted to bore you. In the Black series, they've just brought out, obviously not, this figure, because this is three and three quarter inch, but they brought out a six inch figure, six inch figure of a rebel soldier, and they've done it not on this card, but guess what? They gave it to you on this card. So they've gone for total nostalgia because it's the fortieth anniversary of Empire, and they've got the mirror image back in commission. So there's lots of different variations of rebel soldiers, Echo outside, you name it. But anyway, let's have a look at the figure. Which is awesome. That's not working. I can't focus. I've got to learn how to do that, man. I think he needs to be on something like that. There you go. That's better. So he's really good. And you can remove that thing. I'm not going to do any of that now. Like I said in this series, I just want to look at the card. Look at the figure. Where, it, where is it appropriate to talk about the character? In fact, with this guy, you can't say anything. Because whoever that dude is on that car back, he didn't speak. <laughs> he's not a character. He's a background character. But isn't it fascinating with Star Wars that... Sometimes background characters make the most interesting cards and the most sought-after cards and stuff. So it's interesting, isn't it? Very interesting indeed. Um, so anyway, that was the whole wave there. We've got Snoke to come. And then, as you can see on this one, both variations of this soldier. I've got sellotape on them. Look at that, you see? What a bummer. I tried taking it off on one of them. But I tell you what, the glue was so faint on it, I've actually ended up with a... I've actually got a, a proof card now. So what, yeah, what I did was in the entertainer, I can't remember, it wasn't that long ago maybe, just before lockdown, the entertainer, they had them online and I got a couple. 
In fact, I got one because I wanted to do this head swap. I'll do that now for you. I've done this in a video before, but there's our man, the original one. Oh, come on. Work with me here. There he is. See him? That's the guy in that bubble there. But if you swap him with the Imperial Navy Commander, it works. He's a really good head swapper, that guy. So I've got two. Because they're not clones, are they? They've all got to have different faces. So I have two rebel soldiers with different faces, which is imperative. Anyway, going back to the, you know, the bubble, which has rubbish glue on it, which needs sellotape. Thankfully, these ones here are holding. But this one was probably just because it's older and it had been in a store, maybe, or in, in storage. Look at that. When I got it home, I just took the sellotape off and the, the bubble just came clean away. No wonder they put sellotape on it. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, look at that. That's just a clean card. That Hang on, let me just focus. So it's like a proof card. I don't have any proof cards. You need to go to see Blacked Out Ewoks if you want to see proof cards. And that's all I got to say about that. Only the fact that if you want to know what the Rebel... Not Rebel, the Imperial Navy Commander is. It's this one here. So that's the figure that's a good head swapper. But he came out in the Black Series. TIE Fighter line. And there's t there was tons of him in the Entertainer. And I had a bit of a field day and I got a load of them. And I've swapped him with... You know, I've swapped him with the Naboo Royal Guard. The TIE Fighter. You know... He's, he's just good for swapping heads with. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed that episode. Maybe you've learned something about the, uh, the history of these card backs. I think I've got my facts right there. If you want to add anything, please do in the comments. If you are new around here, I'm not happy with that shot there because it's not focused. Let me lock this off. There you go. Can't even touch the camera without like wobbling. Uh, yeah, so if you are new around here, please subscribe. Leave your thoughts and comments below. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only one. Echo Station 3TA. We spotted some Imperial Walkers on the South Bridge. Imperial Walkers. <whistles> Out.